it's me, Zaila. In today's video, guys, we're gonna show you problems in learning English. And we are going to provide to you the solutions or tips in order to overcome these problems. Yes. So, Nivelle, have you encountered problems in learning English lately? Yes. Well, I think it's common for us Filipino students whose um, native language is not the English itself. And so, we have difficulty in articulating the words, pronouncing, and as well as comprehending the words in English language. Well, so in my case, I have a stage problem, a stage fright. So I stutter and I sometimes find the wrong words to say. So let's find out together. Yeah, What's the solution great. for these problems we have, Zyla? Yeah, sure. So let's go, guys, and let's make English fun! fun! The first problem encountered by students in learning English is the misalignment of sound systems between the mother tongue and the foreign language to be learned. This is for the reading category. The differences in sound are the result of different manners of articulation, the way they are pronounced. Speaking in a native or a very well-known language doesn't require much thought about the positioning of the lips the tongue or a possible closing of the airflow through the nasal cavity. Fully conscious articulation would be too slow. There are only a few elements whose position can be controlled by conscious will. Nonetheless, it still allows a great variety of sound to be produced. Those sounds cannot simply be replaced by sounds one knows from their own language. Such a replacement could change the meaning of a word or phrase, or even a cause of sentence to become incomprehensible. Correct articulation can prove to be of great difficulty and may require arduous and repetitive practice. Several different sounds may sound the same to a non-native speaker and at the same time deceptively similar to a sound from their own mother tongue. The second problem encountered by students is the writer's block. This is for the writing category. This is what you feel when you find it difficult to write. You just don't know what to write, you're not in the mood, and you don't know when you will be in the mood. Writer's block can be very dangerous, especially if you don't deal with it quickly. The following are some of the quick solutions to overcome the writer's block. 
First, take some rest. Make sure you're getting adequate sleep and you're not overstressing yourself. Second, read, read, and read. You can't produce without consuming. You need information to thrive, so you, you must read, 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 and read some more. The third problem to be encountered is in the aspects of listening. Students disturb the class. Sometimes, the students get bored and try to do other activities during the lectures which disturb the teachers during the teaching of the English language. They try to speak to the other students during the lectures which disturb the teachers a lot. Some students come late for the lecture. They enter the class during the lecture and it disturbs the teacher. The disturbance is the biggest problem mostly the teachers face in teaching the English language. It defeated all the learning process of learning the English. Environment matter most in learning and teaching in the English language. Mostly, teachers face the environmental problem in teaching. The disturbing environment of the classroom distracts the teacher and affects the teaching of the English language. A suitable and comfortable environment is the basic need of teaching. If the environment is not suitable and comfortable for the teachers, then it ruins the teaching and learning process of the English language. A positive learning environment is very essential. A positive learning environment is very essential for teaching the second language. The teacher must set more strict rules during discussion like no noise policy. In this way, the attention of the students will be set towards the teacher himself. Hi everyone, um, my name is Fadli Kapatuan and I am 20 years old. I was born on the 20th day of May, 1999. And um, I am currently living in Tulay, Manila, Cebu. And um, my dad is dessert. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I am the eldest among the eight siblings. Nine? Eight siblings in our family. Um, I am the eldest and actually I'm the color is red. And um, what else? I don't know. And that's all. Thank you. A good solution in the difficulty of speaking is to practice. Do interact with people who speak the language. Do not be afraid to make mistakes because nobody is perfect. Nobody is an expert about everything in the world as well as on grammar.